if you're confused about ball position, this is literally everything you need to know. You only need to know where your shortest club is, your mid club, and your longest club goes. The rest of it, you can plug in the gaps. So you'll see here on the ground that I have my putter grip, okay? Really, this could be any grip in length, as long as you've not got one of these really long putter grips. Essentially, a grip in length, place your driver on the front lead side, teed up, your seven iron in that middle gap, and then your shortest club on the back, the trail side of your grip. Now, what many golfers never ever realize about ball position is that it affects a few things in your golf shots. Number one, it affects the angle of attack. So for example, if my shortest club was far too forward in my stance, I wouldn't hit down enough, I'd hit fat and thin shots. So first thing it affects is your angle of attack. It can also affect your club path. So if your ball is further back in your stance, it promotes a more in to out shot. If your ball is further forward in your stance, it promotes more of an out to in shot. It also has effects on the loft of your club. This is really key, so let's jump down here to show you this. So look, the more I move my ball forward, the more it adds loft to my club. The more I move my ball back, because my hands now are ahead of the ball, the more it takes loft off. And the final piece of this puzzle, it can also affect face angle at impact. So whether it's slicey, whether it's open or closed, their ball position has a big effect. So let's make sure you get it right. So your measurement, nice and simple, a grip in length, that's your starting point. So starting with my shortest club, my 58 degree, Look how I want you to make sure this grip is in the middle of your stance. This is really important. This is your starting point to sort of understand your ball position. That's where I want it to be. The middle of the grip, the trail side of the grip in the middle of the stance, the lead side of the grip on the lead foot. Look how that now really is promoting a great starting point. Now I've done something slightly wrong here, which is what I want to show you to get right. I need you to now arc your line slightly out because as you go to a longer club, what happens? Your ball, and this is really key, gets slightly further away. So if I arc that like this, you can now see that is still in the middle of my stance. This is still on my lead side. That's exactly the ball position you need and have a look at this on player cam the point of view this is how you can copy your ball position with your shortest club you probably will have noticed by now that i use vice golf balls now throughout the entirety of september if you use this code right here you can get 10 percent off anything on the store apart from golf clubs dead easy go and use that code now moving into seven iron we just line the balls up the same so the back end the trail side in the middle of the stance the lead side in front of the lead heel, and then look, I might just move that ball a bit too far forward from when I did that. Now look where that ball position is there for my seven iron. That's the exact point. So straight away, I've got a constant to work to. Now you'll notice the gap is probably slightly smaller between the green vice to the white vice than the white vice to the gold. So what I'm trying to say here is the seven iron is slightly closer towards the middle than it is towards your lead. Really easy to remember. So for example now, here's seven iron. So in between our shortest club and our seven iron, you've got pitching wedge, nine iron and eight iron. Easy as that. Here we go, driver. Now, this is where a lot of people go wrong. You'll have noticed this was inside my lead heel. Too many of us get the ball far too forward, which remember, affects your club path. It affects the loft of the golf ball. It affects your club face and your angle of attack. Make sure that is just inside your lead foot. This in the middle of our stance. That is how right there, I need you to get driver ball position. So you can see it goes from short to long and it slightly arcs out because you're getting slightly further away from the ball. Copy that, if you're stuck with ball position, just use that grip technique for an exact measurement to use whilst you're training.